friends, this is Kathy Clement. I'm back for another day of sharing pet projects on the Petaloo blog. This time I've made a mini album. This measures, I forgot to measure it. Let me find a ruler here. Okay, this album, this was a pre-made album. It's seven inches um, wide by six inches tall and it has an inch and a half wide spine and this is like a hard um, super hard chipboard album it had a plain it was all plain craft and I added decorative papers from Authentique's devoted collection and I also covered the spine with canvas because I just wanted to add that look of texture added a little charm here from the funky junkie boutique um, so let's look at the cover. This is a Prima frame that I've altered with paints and inks and put one of the images from the collection inside the frame, added some seed beads just for fun, and then I flanked it with these beautiful flowers. These are the wild roses in teal and light blue from Petaloo um, over here as well. And then up here is a textured blossom butterfly that I've added a bead to the center. And then this little circular frame, this is actually a large button that I filled with a little image and surrounded with buttons from my button stash and then filled with glossy accents to form a frame, which is really fun. And a little novelty buttons here and then a little banner sentiment from the collection, all you need is love and a cat. So let's take a look inside. This is a staggered album, meaning all the pages are not the same size or shape. I think that's a really fun look. I created a little slash pocket inside the front cover. The sentiment says, some of my best friends never say a word to me. And obviously you can tuck photos in this pocket. Um, and then I also created some little shabby chic photo mounts. This whole album has a real shabby chic feel and I just dry brushed all the edges of the photo mounts with um, tattered rose distress paint. Added a little belly band so these um, slip out and journaling or photos here. And then I created a tag shape for this front page with one of the really cute images from the paper collection here and this opens out and room here for journaling. Photo on this side, of course, I always leave my stickers or um, embellishments open so that photos can go underneath. And here's the back side of this little tag shaped page. It says, what's Mew? Some of these were old Crafty Secrets um, items that I had in my stash from when I was on that design team. And they worked really well with this authentic collection, so I just added them in. So I tried to create a very interactive album here. Lots of little pages and pullouts. Um, here's this page. You can put a photo back behind this cute image from the collection. And then I created another little tag-shaped folio just for journaling or photos that tucks back behind. And this is another Crafty Secrets image. Um, and again, you can put a large photo back behind these little kitty cats. And here's another little... What I did was I cleaned up a lot of the scraps that were left from mounting photos and things, and I turned them into little folios. That's a great idea for when you're making a mini album. These smaller pieces of paper that maybe aren't big enough to mat an image can be made into a great little journaling spot or um, place for small photos. So use everything, don't throw anything away. And whatever you do, don't throw it into the scrap drawer, which I affectionately call the land that Kathy forgot, because I throw it in there and never use it again. So I've been trying to use everything that's out on my desk, um, either in the project, or I'll come back, I'll show you what I did with leftovers from this. This is just a little waterfall feature that I made, again, by using scrap pieces and cutting them all to the same size. And I just added some little punched pieces, little brads, images, fussy cut from the collection. A great place to put photos here, and it's just held shut with this little clip. Um, these pretty flowers, I love these blue forget-me-nots 
um, from Petaloo, and I added those here. Um, there, yes, and here's some on the front as well. So, all right, and because of the staggered page, I had room to go out, add little tags, fun little features like that. Here's another pocket page that I created with an image, and this has, again, another little folio inside that folds out. So that's kind of fun, and you could easily put more photos in back behind there. There's lots of room. This is another little pocket with photo mounts, and just brushing the edges, dry brushing the edges with um, the Tattered Rose Distress Paint gave it a really fun shabby chic feel. And um, cute little, this little sticker from the collection, I added a cute little novelty button of a kitty, and then this opens this page out. Um, where there's a large photo mount and then a pocket that I made just using a scrap again that was on the work table. More photo mounts. A beautiful vintage image from the collection. So pretty. And a great place on the back to journal or add a photo. So that's that page. And here's another large page and I took the file folder um, it's clipped. I made a little custom paper clip. Isn't that cute? I just ran paper, a little paper scrap through, folded it in half, glued it together, and then pinned a petaloo flower on top. And now I've got a really cust cute little custom paper embellishment that just kind of elevates everything. But this is a file folder and it just folds down. You can put little mementos in there or um, photos. And of course it's open on the back so that you can place um, lots of photos or a large photo on this page. And then this is the last page. Again, I made a slash pocket. This one's a little more vertical than the last one. This quote from Anatole France says, until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. And I just clustered a bunch of these ivory textured blossoms around the quote along with a cute little novelty button. I had some of these in my stash. There's a little glue spider web. Hot off the press, guys. And then, again, I just made a belly band with stickers and designer paper to go in this pocket where there's also room for um, more photos. And you could easily do four by six photos in this pocket. Here's a look at the album open with the back paper on the back but this is just a really fun collection i wanted to share these ideas with you sometimes simple things can be repurposed like this button frame pretty much everyone has buttons um, so look at your stash and think about different ways that you can use it have fun playing with pretty papers and beautiful petaloo flowers thanks for joining me here today go get your craft on